Shiny pants. Leather. Step out of the comfort zone. That was a big step. Even though it was very uncomfortable at times, it was very uncomfortable stepping out. Uh, 23 years.
was really a standing up. It was a decision. It's not like I did. It's exactly what I would say. I took that decision. Yeah. So it's also really my answer. Um, 
there's a lot of social approval that goes along with being married, staying married, sailing into the old age sunset, all the ticks, you know. Yeah, checklist. Yeah, so... Just that's right. Like this uh, Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I let go of that. Mm -hmm. Social approval. Yes, I think it's the... Uh, I did not consider the position. No. No. Uh, I face it after, mm -hmm. after. Again, it is me that experience. It's going through all that and me decided to take this. Uh, this mm. That's a risk. That's a risk. But for another, for a better, for me, for, for a better reason. Yes. It's not that I did not consider them the social. Had different reactions. Um, the second daughter went very close to it. She was angry because she said, All these years, we put up with this, why now? Why now? The same question. Especially that I did not share any of our problems. Mm. Yeah, Next. of course. Yeah. Maybe they saw us uh, arguing, mm -hmm. uh, and they never knew uh, for mm -hmm. as a They did not understand it. Yeah. And I have never spoken back on it. So they do understand why is it happening. I know. If my students in China have a little bit of a sign, you know that I. You always said good, so many good things about your wife. Like yeah. always, you say good things. You never, you always, never anything negative. Then suddenly you yeah. left. Yeah. Like what's that? Yeah. <laughs> envy. They said they put it on enemies, maybe uh, a bad eye or something. But yeah. they were all uh, different uh, uh, families. So we're talking about a big thing in 24 years, 22 years, leaving. And for me, there's a lot of mixed feelings, many, many different things. I've been through the PTSD of the night and 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 the night I'm accepting all the whole story because um, I've really accepted that I've seen myself in the future. Mm -hmm. Bernard, the one who is in this relationship, who is describing herself after 20 years, mm -hmm. uh, then I saw that I don't know if it was this one. The one who is in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And then I've given my parts. A lot of parts to this relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been most of it. Mm -hmm. This was the 
the, the, the moment that I decided that I would prefer it. Mm. Mm. Lost too much of yourself. Yeah. Get away. Trying to manage the family mm. and to uh, uh, be able to have maps and vision and shape mm. and uh, bringing them all together and, uh, and working hard to accept things that it's not in my culture, maybe not in my personality. Mm. And, uh, I give power to myself. Mm. I, let, I really uh, I'm proud of it. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So after the divorce, I I myself. Yeah. 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 So I bring it back myself. Yeah. A version of that. Mm. I'm very oriented towards making my wife happy and my best, and sometimes she was happy and sometimes she wasn't, but now I'm no longer, I'm no longer, no longer have that mission, you know, now I'm like, oh, what does that, what does that mean, you know? And, and sometimes when I feel guilty or I know she's sad, and I should go back to myself, I can't do that for her. I've got to find out well, what works for me, and yeah. you know, it's difficult that this is, I can care of myself. I am I am used to take care of others. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's easier. Yes. <laughs> it's much easier. That's right. Yes, I was just wondering when I had said that it's not easy to take care of but, okay. okay. <laughs> but uh, it was uh, it was easy to before the uh, the the uh, the towns so mm -hmm. different from the brothers. Yeah. And uh, if you are speaking about wildness, I think the tiger is more wild than the. But uh, yes, there is a uh, wild child inside, a uh, uh, rebellion one. Mm -hmm. Maybe yes, I used to be so. But for my, I don't know. Courage, yeah. Yes, courage. I think that I'm courage. <coughs> be different, what's going to out. Yes. You better be comfortable. So, if you look ahead, not long distance, but short distance, if you look ahead at yourself continuing to be courageous, continuing to be out of your comfort zone, I'm interested what you see. So the years of creating this picture of family, mm -hmm. uh, so this was the comfortable, the comfortable, mm -hmm. amazing. Actually, I'm, I'm creating a new picture. Mm -hmm. uh, that I am the family. <laughs> yes. Family or the one that uh, the stereotype family that we have been raised mm -hmm. on. It's, uh, it does not mean that it's the, it's the right or wrong one. So, I'm not, as I say, I'm collecting back myself. Mm -hmm. So, I'm uh, trying to ground myself in a, in a, a stable ground. Mm -hmm make my own uh, decisions and uh, uh, create my own future, about my future, in my uh, career, in my kids, in my personality, in my family. Mm -hmm. It sounds like that's what I'm looking for. I've been struggling for two years, actually. My, I think my body reacted because I did not have the I did not speak up what I want to do. I have these broken legs and these broken arms and mm -hmm. I have many body uh, injuries. But then I realized uh, I, um, my last injury was in my arm. I was playing paddle and then I had a 
And it, it brought a lot of emotions, I don't know why. It brought a lot of emotions, insecurities, the fear. Uh, I've been this, like, uh, I've been healing myself out of this injury for one year. Mm -hmm. But it brought a lot of this injury, especially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my um, second daughter I was talking about. She came to visit me in China in September and then um, again in January. Um, and yes, it is a, a new family experience to. Mm -hmm. I have her and my partner and me and my wife, but just, um, yeah, it's just me creating that relationship and developing that family sense out of my own ground. And, um, it's, it feels good to be able to do that. I wasn't, I was a little bit fully confident, but then it just sort of flows and you do have that. And she, she, she said she prefers it. Yes. So, you know. This was the I was, um, as if I was wounded all the summer days in my arms. Okay. So my husband and all the kids, mm. now I have four the Yes, I think this was the concept that I was holding everything mm. from my head. So, I was, we did not have the, uh, we did not receive from our spouse the, 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 the support mm -hmm. to stay, uh, continue with it, to stay moving on. So I did not go, I mean, I just, uh, channeled her in to the idea that I will not continue with it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was, uh, I think now I'm building, I'm building even a relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And as we talk about all of this, check in with his feelings, mm -hmm. my feelings, check in your feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I, I will put me in sadness mm -hmm. and fear. I don't any journals about mm -hmm. sadness. Mm -hmm. So why I'm sad? I want to take it out of my system. Mm -hmm. uh, what exactly is making me sad? So I listed maybe 20 mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. about sadness. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm not sad anymore. Mm -hmm. That's good. So maybe now when I, I have this so maybe this is something that's reminding me of. But maybe the fear, because I am not a person who, that, uh, who lives day by day. Mm -hmm. I, always have, I always have a little map, uh, right. a plan. Right. So what I'm going through now that is I'm just living without any plan mm -hmm. in my head. So this brings fear. Right. That's a big concern. Yeah, yeah, it's really out of me. Even though I remind myself that I had a plan, and not work well. <laughs> so that's the, this is what I'm reminding myself. Sure. So what did you plan? Is a new plan. Uh, I had a plan and not certainly well. No, no, no. So maybe you need to to plan not to plan. Sure. That's a rationalization yeah. still. The reality of yeah. not having a plan. I don't have any plans. I'm just uh, keeping my kids safe. My my mind, my mindful, and my mind, 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 my
Spontaneous action. Yes. Acting without plan. This authentic movement that we did was a little bit like that, you know, without a plan, just being spontaneous in the moment and following. But you know something that I'm not part of the office, someone is connecting. Right. You want to just. Although my partner was very but I'm used to it. Ah, okay. So, moving without the plan is not such a big thing. But again, I uh, have an inside and affection with the body in my uh, the, 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 the exercise gave me. Mm -hmm. you know, why not have the protection of God, the higher of the higher so if we take a step into that right now, free zone, spontaneous, non-planned action, um, I'm going to invite you to just play with that a little bit right now. Um, so, um, uh, right, right now, you give yourself permission to do something a little spontaneous and planned. So, what would be right now, me, other people here, start with me. Without thinking about it, because the thinking takes you into a little bit. Uh-huh, okay. Enjoying your yeah. moving, <laughs> unplanned, yeah. Yeah. enjoying the moment. invite you to do that with a few other people here. If you're willing to like just go up to someone and find something that's like spontaneous and unplanned. I'll, I'll give you a little example. Like if I did that with you, I might just go like this. Oh. Yes. Maybe 
am planned uh, all of us can stand up and planned uh, Well, okay, but I'm inviting you to initiate something with, with a person, with a couple of people. Just like, you know, you did with me, but just sort of choose someone and find what's this little spontaneous thing that you'd like to do with them without thinking about it. That's right. No thinking. Uh, I don't want to think. I just want the all to stand up and move. This is what I'm thinking. This is what the spontaneous thing is. Right. Well, you want them to do it, but I want you to move into your spontaneity. So you uh, pick someone particular. Just pick someone. Go up to them and find out what your spontaneous movement is. Okay, I'll pick my daughter later and have her. <laughs> Comfort zone place, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and my partner. <laughs> yes. So pick someone else. I think all of them actually. Because we are all connected. And as you hug them, see if you can do it in a little bit of a different way. Something that's some energy rather than just the ritual. Find some, feel yourself in there. I feel that I'm interested. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Something, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then I did. Spontaneously. And welcoming uh, Rehab. <laughs> and uh, taking. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so again, just find the movement, find something a little bit spontaneous. Without thinking. I'm not thinking. Yeah. I'm just moving. This is uh, a very. Uh, yeah. To, to connect with you in this place. As you move, I move. It's a bit like dancing or something, but that kind of feeling. Keep choosing, I keep re-choosing, yes. 
<laughs> very spontaneous. <laughs> but very autonomous, you know. Yeah, this is really my choice to be here. And I like that. Yeah. Just keep choosing to be here. This day I'm choosing this. Choose it each day. I don't want to choose this, yes, I don't want to choose this. It feels like a choice rather than this. Momentum. Yeah, I choose today, that's, that's the thing. That, that appeals to me a little more at the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> 